In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a simple homemade nose cone for a model rocket. Uh, to do this, we're going to need um, some white glue, a glue stick. You may also want a damp washcloth because you will be getting glue on your fingers, a toilet paper roll, masking tape, not necessary but a good idea to have around, my little sticky tool, see website for details, <clears throat> the body tube of the rocket, and also we're going to need a paper circle. For the rockets that I give tutorials for, I'll actually give a template. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out my circle. So the size of the circle depends on how long I want your nose cone to be and how wide the uh, body of the rocket is. So if you have a larger circle, you'll usually have a longer nose cone. So something nice and pointy. If you want something more squat, use a smaller circle. So I'm going to take the circle and cut it in half. On my templates there will be a line for this. And in the center there's also another little line where you'll just do a slight snip. You aren't going too far in, just a little bit. So I'm going to take one half of it and then I'm going to roll it so that this is pretty close to about the size of my body tube. It doesn't need to be exact. It can actually be a little bit smaller, but you just want to get it in that area. And so we're going to roll it without glue. And this is just to put a crease in it to make it easier to roll it whenever I do add glue. So now that I've rolled it, I'm going to apply some glue to the paper and I'm going to come back and re-roll it again. And then put a little bit of glue on the outside near the, the seam. So now I'll take the second half of my circle and we'll put some glue on this. And then I'm going to put the cone onto here and then I'm just going to continue rolling. Till I get to the end. Now sometimes this little flap won't stick down. Um, if it doesn't, check to be sure it's glued and then see if it'll stick down. In this case it did. If it didn't, you'll need to take your masking tape and tape it down and hold it in place while it dries. So for the next part, there's two ways to do it. One way is neater, one way is easier. The neater is a little bit lighter if you're really, really picky about weight, but generally for the most part I use the easier method. To use this, we are going to need the toilet paper roll, which you're going to cut along the side, and we're going to roll it out, and we're just going to cut it about in half. So once it's cut in half, I'm going to take my sticky tool, which is or just a ballpoint pen, and I'm going to roll it around the pen to give it a bit of a crease to make the next step easier. Once I've done that, I'm going to make look at them so they're approximately about the same size, and be sure that I have about two layers of material um, whenever I roll it up, and then trim off the rest. This really only needs to be approximate, it doesn't need to be exact. So next, I'm going to take my white glue and spread some around on the inside of this, and then I'm going to roll this back up. Now you'll note it kind of wants to unroll. Um, that's a good thing, that's useful, because what we're going to do, we're going to take this, we're going to put it inside our rocket, And then we're going to take our sticky tool and spin it to force the toilet paper roll to go against it. So if I rolled it so that turning it this way would tighten it, tighten the toilet paper roll, I'm going to push it back the opposite direction. And so what this does is it'll force it out some so it conforms better to the body tube. It does not need to be straight and flushed and aligned because we're going to trim both sides of it. So 
uh, now that I've done this side, that was the easy way, and I'm going to set it aside, and then we can do the harder way. The harder way um, is a lot like that, except we're actually going to um, cut out a chunk of material, and then we're going to size it to the body tube. So, when you look at this, you can see that there's a small amount of overlap. We're going to cut that away. So, we looked at it and we saw that there's a small amount of overlap. It's probably about yay much. Try and cut this straight, which I'm very terrible at myself. And we're going to put it back in the body tube and see how good we did. So now that it's back in, we can see that it's it's pretty good. We can take our little sticky tool, stick it down inside, and we're going to look at the seam on the inside to see if it basically contacts itself. Once we've done that, we're done with the first segment. Now we need to make another segment. And this one is going to be sized such that it fits inside both of these, like that. Which, for this one, obviously, we're going to need to trim away a lot more material. So I'm going to take a chunk away, and then I'm going to say, hey, oh, too big, and then take away another chunk. Uh, typically when you take away these chunks, you try and look at it and say, how do I need to cut this uh, to make these lines uh, line up so they'll touch each other? Not always the case. Let me put this in. Okay, so looking at it, I'm getting closer. It doesn't have to be exact. If there's a little bit of a gap, it's not a very big deal. So, putting this back in, I see I've actually gotten it pretty close. There is a little bit of a gap, but like I said, not a big deal. So, I'm going to take this one out, and I'm going to line this one up so it's nice and flush. Maybe leave it sticking out a little bit. I'm going to take my glue and put it on the outside of the one we just sized, and spread it around. And then we're going to fold this up and put it inside. Now you see the, cre the break in it, the area where we cut in it, we're going to put them opposite. So this cut will sit opposite of that cut. So it faces the other direction and we're going to put it inside. Now you might need to take it out a little bit further. We put this one inside it and then we force it down and in. So you, once you push it all the way in, you'll want to leave a little bit sticking out of the top so any glue doesn't make it glue itself into place. And then we're going to set these aside to dry. So I've let this dry for about 10 minutes and we're going to go ahead and pull them out. Hopefully we haven't glued them in, which is something that is pretty easy to do. So I'm just going to use this tool to pull one out and then pull out the other side. So at this point it doesn't matter which one of these we use. Uh, the only real difference is how you make the piece from this point forward, the way you treat the piece is the exact same. So after removing them, we need to trim them. Uh, to do this, we're just going to cut each side of it to be flush, starting with the top using a pair of scissors. Just cut around. It does not need to be precise. Uh, it just needs to be kind of flat because we're going to glue this into place. Um, we're actually going to trim this to length later, so don't fret too much about being sure both sides are the same. So I trimmed down the top side of this one. Um, as a sanity check, you'll want to be sure that it fits inside your cone like that. And you'll also want to be sure that your nose cone fits over the body. So one of the other things you'll need to trim is the nose cone. If you want it to actually overlap and go past the body, you don't really want to trim it. But, if you want it to be flush with the body, you do. So when we put the nose cone into, facing into, the body tube, it's pretty obvious that this is going to be wider than the body. So, we're going to pull it out and trim off a little bit with our scissors. And try and keep it relatively even. And we're going to put it back in, and we're going to get it, keep cutting it down until it's about the diameter of the actual body tube. 
Okay, and once it's trimmed down to about where you want it, definitely look at it across ways and see if you need to even it out a little bit. Try not to take away too much because you'll end up having to remake your nose cone. Okay, so once we've got that trimmed, we'll grab the other part made out of the toilet paper roll and start putting some glue up top. Uh, we'll want a decent amount of Elmer's glue, which you'll want to run everywhere. I'm going to flip the nose cone upside down, and we're going to put this into the nose cone. Now it's going to be a tight fit because we just trimmed it, so a lot of the glue is going to run over, which you're just going to trim off a lot of what you don't need with your finger. And then we're going to line it up to be kind of straight, and be sure there's no glue on, the, on this section, or at least if there is, that there's not much, wipe it away with your fingers, because then we're going to take the body tube, and we're going to put this into the body tube. So now we can look at the nose cone in the body, and we're going to turn the body tube and look to see if the nose pivots side to side. If it's pivoting side to side, it means it's not straight. So whenever I notice the, the nose cone going off to one direction, I'm going to gently push it in the proper direction to try and line it up. And as I'm doing this, I'm going to do it a little bit, then rotate the nose and look to see which direction it needs to be moved. And then eventually, once I decide it's lined up well enough uh, for me to live with, um, I'm going to clean away the excess glue. And then I'm going to set this aside to dry. And to set it aside to dry, you want to be able to flip it upside down and just put it inside the body tube and either leave it balanced, if you have a good place you can leave it where no one's going to mess with it, which obviously I'm great at doing, or grab like your tape and your glue and put a piece of tape across the body uh, to hold it to the glue. so that it holds it upright and the nose cone can dry. Okay, now that I've given this a chance to dry, we're going to need to trim this section. Um, we don't want to just cut it with scissors like this. You can cut it with an X-Acto knife just straight across, but if you cut it with scissors, you're going to crush it. So we're going to start at the base and just kind of work our way around, uh, trimming off a little bit at a time and working our way up. Um, this length is really kind of up to your discretion for how long you want it to be, uh, depending on your rocket. So, for mine, I want it a little bit shorter. And once this is trimmed, you have a rocket nose cone.